Hey guys, so a while back we made a video called 20 tips to ace any job interview. If you'd like to check it out, you can do so by clicking here. It was a solid overview, but since so many of y'all asked for more, here are nine more tips to ace any job interview. And these will dive into what Nacho Libre calls the needy greedy. Tip number one, before the interview, make a list of questions, ones that you'll likely be asked, such as why did you leave your old job, why they should hire you, etc. As you're coming up with your answers to these questions, keep in mind that it might not hurt to have little anecdotes, like things from your past work experience. After all, human brains are kind of hardwired to more easily remember things that have emotional meaning, so food for thought. Also bring in questions that you would like to ask. As we said in our other video, it's helpful to have those questions ready because at the end of the interview, they probably are gonna ask you, do you have any questions for me? And if you say no, it might make you seem kind of aloof or like you're not super interested. These questions could include what projects you'll be working on if you're hired, what is a typical day like, etc. In any case, be sure to practice your questions and answers a lot. Tip number two, some practical pre-work we didn't mention in our other video. If you're doing the interview in person, make sure you practice the drive there. That way you won't be surprised or thrown off by all the weird roundabouts or all the night bus traffic. Similarly, number three, the night before the interview, have your clothes ready, have them ironed, have them looking good, have them looking fresh, have them looking sweet and hip and happening, and go to bed early. After all, if you want the monies, you gotta have the Z's. Abraham Lincoln. Next up, a couple quick tips from the great book Presence by doctor and TED talker Amy Cuddy. She interviewed one of the toughest professional crowds around, Silicon Valley venture capitalists. That would make me uber nervous. <laughs> my heart would be a Twitter. It would be like my stomach was in a tumbler. <laughs> Tip number four from Dr. Cuddy, make a good impression by not trying to make a good impression. Now, I know it sounds like Yoda's advice column or something, but here's what I mean. Yes, absolutely do basic decorum like we talked about in the other video, arrive a little early, dress well, practice active listening. But if you're trying to Dale Carnegie your way through every gesture and every syllable, you're gonna come off a little bit robotic probably. Avoid this fate by practicing tip number five, be prepared to be passionate. According to Cuddy, rather than just selling yourself, Get an idea of what the position will be like and sell your ideas and your excitement about the position. Highlight one or two areas you're particularly excited about. Ironically, by focusing on something other than yourself, you're more likely to show the best parts of yourself. And number six, hey, if you're nervous, that's okay too. It means that this is important to you. Try not to amplify the awkward by trying to be super smooth all the time. It's also okay to not know everything and to not have every single skill they have on their job description, which is really kind of a wish list that they don't necessarily expect any one person to have. So instead, just be honest, tell them you're willing to learn and give some examples of how you have learned in the past. We have a little bit about this in the original video as well. Number seven, of course, having said that, there are a couple body language cues you're definitely going to want to try to avoid. These would include touching your face a lot or getting the Jimmy legs like Sarah Silverman did in that episode of Seinfeld. Getting a good night's sleep and practicing mindfulness can help you avoid these things. Number eight, what about money? Well, these conversations can be a little tricky and sometimes people are understandably a little hesitant to talk about dollars and cents. In the case of job interviews, as in so many other cases, knowledge is power. To quote Lifehacker, research common salaries for your job in your location. Decide a range for what you'd like to make and determine how little you're willing to accept. It'll help you to have this information in your back pocket in case of... Number nine, what to do if they ask about money. Basically, most experts suggest that you do a little dance. Rather than giving a dollar amount, it's best to say something like, I'm really excited about this position and I'm sure that we can come to some kind of agreement. If they push, you can say something like, I'm sure you've budgeted for this position. Can you give me a sense of the range for the salary? And if they absolutely will not give you a number first, then you can say, well, according to my research, this position in this area will have a range from blah, 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 to blah, 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 blah. And then you can say where you feel you fall along that range. That said, this is a very complex topic. We could definitely make a video just about salary negotiations. So let's start a conversation about it in the comments. What do you think is the best way to go? And that is all we've got for you today. If you guys have any more tips for job interviews, please let us know in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. In the meantime, no catchphrase, because it's stressful enough, guys, when you're going into a job interview, to have a, you, don't have to, you don't want a catchphrase in your head, you don't want to be bouncing around. So listen, just relax, get some sleep tonight, lay out your clothes, and we'll talk about it tomorrow when you get to the interview, if you get the position of catchphrase hearer. 
and I love you. Bye. Mwah.